Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about error handling and specifically logging errors to a file in Flask. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to log errors to a file and where to go to check out other ways to log errors in Flask. So typically a production app won't be in debug mode. So the only way you will know there's an error is if the error is sent somewhere. And in this case, it's going to be sent to a file so you can view it later and debug it and fix the issue so it won't happen again. So this isn't enabled by default. You have to add something to your Flask app to do this. So that's what I'm gonna show you here. So right now I have this really basic Flask app running. It's not in debug mode and I have the page open. And to add handling, the first thing I need to do is import from the logging module. And logging is a Python module, it's not a Flask module. So uh, from logging, I'm going to import two things, file handler and warning. So file handler is a way to log errors to a file. And then warning is the level that I want to uh, trigger the log. So this could be something like error where it's more serious, but warning is nice when you're logging to a file because you can just log as much as you want. So after I have the uh, warning and the file handler imported, I now need to instantiate the file handler. So I'll do it below this app here and I'll call it just file handler and it's going to be file handler and I just need to pass in the name of the file that um, the error log will be. I'll say error log text. And then after that, I need to set the level of the file handler. So set level. It's a method on the file handler class. And I'll use warning, which I imported earlier. Like I said, this can be something like error, but for an error log, typically you want the, uh, you want to log as much as you can. So after that, all you have to do is add the logger to your app. So app.logger and then add handler. So I believe it's camel case like that and the file handler and save that. And since this isn't in debug mode, the server won't restart by itself. So I'll start it and let me see if a file was created. Yes, I have this error log here that was created. And one thing you should note is it only logs application errors, not uh, typical HTTP errors. So if I do something like this and I go to a page that doesn't exist, does not exist, not found, this doesn't get logged in the error because it's not uh, the type of error that you're looking for. It's not an application error. It's just a basic HTTP error and that's why they have all those error codes for those. Instead, this catches more serious errors that you can't anticipate. So if I change this from the app is running to something like one divided by zero, which will obviously fail, and I restart the server, and then I go here, uh, I get this internal server error. That means it's some error that uh, HTTP can't uh, pinpoint because it's so generic. But if you look in the error log, you now see that I have this uh, error and I see the integer division or modulo by zero. So pretty much any warning or any error that your application can generate that is not a basic HTTP error will end up in your error log. So that's pretty much how to add the file handler um, for your error logging. Uh, you may want to have a if statement saying if not app debug and then add this so um, when your app is in debug mode it doesn't log to a file because you can see all the errors on the on the page but once you turn off debug mode you may want to have the error logging enabled or you can have it enabled in debug mode it's whatever you want so if you want to learn more about the other handlers for error logging, there's this um, there's the documents for Python. So they have stream handler, file handler, null handler, watched file handler, and a lot of these things are self-explanatory. But 
I mean, just reading the description. So like uh, timed rotating file handlers, basically you can log to different files depending on what time it is. Um, what else would be nice? A syslog handler, you can send errors to your system's log, error log, in addition to your own file if you want it. Uh, SMTP handler, sending emails. Um, HTTP handler, you can send a request to some server with your error, however you want to do it. Um, but I think logging to a file is the most straightforward. So I'll put a link to these documents in the description below. And uh, that's it for this video. So if you have any questions about uh, logging errors to a file, just let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.